Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. I didn't mean to press that, but okay. In the last episode, we set up our camp and I have done nothing in between episodes. But I want to get right back into it and I want to take a look at what's next in our quest list. Because there is actually quite a lot. So the next thing on the to-do list is better health potions. Vault potions are an out-of-combat alternative to the healing abilities. They are the only type of potion that doesn't anger Valera inside the vault, which reduces healing efficiency by 20% each potion to a maximum of 80%. So be sure to use these or their vanilla counterpart until absolutely necessary. So apparently using vanilla potions is either not efficient. I'm not sure I understand this right. Oh, okay. So if you use vanilla potions, the healing efficiency is reduced by 20% by each potion all the way up to 80%. So don't use vanilla potions when it comes to healing at least. That's not good. Vault potions have a set amount of uses to be used in each vault, completely refilling itself once you have exited the vault and can be upgraded through research, allowing effects to be applied onto upgraded potions. There are brews that can be crafted with two different implicits, one that recharges a potion mid-vault by actively killing mobs and another that passively recharges over time. Craft a vial. So, we're going to be needing a vial. I assume that's not it. This is it. Heals four hit points. Right, so I assume that this is the one that we actually need to do. Uh, or this one, I suppose. Right, so either I gather a flower or I get, I'm definitely gonna gather a flower. So I'm gonna need this. Should have the chromatic iron. Yep, already have a chromatic iron, so let's check. Need to make some glass bottles. And I should... Yep, I do have glass here. That's my crafting table. All right. And now I just need a puppy. Hmm, well, this could be interesting. I see a lot of tulips, but no puppies maybe over here. Nope, still don't see any puppies. I really need an elytra soon. But in order to get an elytra, I need phantom membrane, and I keep forgetting not to sleep. Puppies has been spotted. There we go, just the one. Uh... I'll grab two. Now for the trip back home. All right, I should have everything. So now we can go ahead and make the vial. Heals four hit points, recharges every five minutes. That is really good. We're going to complete this quest and we're going to get an ender pearl as a reward. All right, now collecting soul shards. That is going to be huge. Unaliving mobs inside the vaults will award the player soul shards. Soul shards can be used as a currency for the black market and as a crafting ingredient. The chance for soul shards to drop can be increased by modifying gear with soul chance or by equipping the Idonis dagger. Soul shards can be stored within the shard pouch. Indefinitely craft the shard pouch. That we will do immediately. So the shard pouch is made like this, which is why we got the uh, the ender pearl there I assume so we need one string and two gold nuggets so I have a string right here two gold nuggets like that and this and now I just need uh, do I have sheep I don't actually have sheep and it has to be purple wool as well which means I need purple dye which of course is red and blue thankfully though I can use red tulips for that and if I find any sheep they will go into this animal jar that's a ravine that's one red tulip and two and three and purple dye has been acquired now I need to find some sheep that's one sheep two sheep three sheep and four sheep. Now if I just plop you guys in here and do this. Five in total. That is perfect. That's a perfect amount right there. And plop this together. And then we got a soul pouch. Perfecto. And for that we actually get some soul shards. And they immediately went in there. And I'm actually going to drop all of these out so I can pick them up again. And this as well. Did I? Hold on. I never organized this chest, did I? Well, you know what? I think I'll have to stick with two chests because this is quickly going to get full. So I currently have 392 shards. Not bad. All right, so this is just beginning the vault hunting and it is telling us to start to go doing a vault, uh, which apparently I need to do, which I have no problem doing at all. I need redstone, uh, run flesh, uh, potatoes. Now, three run flesh might be an issue. I'll just have to be patient. Zombie has been sighted. There we go. Got what I need. Boom, 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 boom. Ka-ching! And before that zombie makes its way over here, I'm gonna grab my shulker boxes. 
I think I have everything that I need, and let us do this. Goodbye, zombie. Begin us grace and begin us insurance. All right, let's do this. So it is monolith yet again, and this time around, we of course have our one sword and all of this stuff right here. So hopefully, I can get a bunch of emeralds if... No way, I got one of these rooms right off the bat. No way. <laughs> Okay, that, oh wow. Right, well that's very convenient. I don't think I have enough uh, blocks to block stuff with. Right, I need to get, I need to, I need to find all that stuff. Um, okay. Oh, so, oh, this has changed. Okay, so you need to break these now and not open the chests to find them. Oh, I love that feature. And one of these buttons should activate there we go magnet magnet is now switched on okay so some of them will give you items some of them will give you the blocks that you need okay i love that feature and go in break this yeah. Yeah. this room is quite bright though not gonna lie okay already because i feel like i have a lot i feel like i'm going to try and see how many I'm missing. So let's see, I got two, three of the blues, I got one green, I got two of these, I need one more green, and then one pink. All right, got it. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and equip this just so I can get a bunch of these building blocks right here. I'm gonna equip this in my off head so I can just easily go from place to place. So I need one more green and I need one pink. Okay, I've gotten all of these. Need to go up one level. Uh, inventory is beginning to be a little bit of an issue here. Now it is of course not guaranteed that I will find what I'm actually looking for, but all I can do is try. I'm willing to, I'm willing to spend some time on this. I need to remember the stuff that I pick up actually shows up there so I can get a, an overview of what I'm getting if I get one of the ones that I need. Well, still none, so just gonna have to keep going up. Well, so far, ladies and gentlemen, it does not look like I'm going to get what I need. All right, time for the roof, which uh, nine left. Not looking forward to this. Blue again. All right, final two, blue, and it has been confirmed. We're not going to be able to make this one, unfortunately, and stuff. Well, ow, okay, thought I would hit that. Right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place down this. I'm going to uh, drop this and drop this. Still have this here. And I'm actually going to keep these blocks. I'm going to mine them up. Oh, I can't mine them once they're... Oh, can I? Maybe I'm gonna try. Nope. Okay. Once you place them, can't pick them up. Well, I got some blocks for when we reach this... When we find a room like this again in the future. Right. Right. Well, 15 minutes remaining. I should be able to find the two monoliths in that time and do some regular looting. I still don't have an efficient way of picking up the coins, but they are really, really valuable. So I'm going to take my time doing it, at least sometimes. All right, well, that's the first monolith acquired. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to remember that I have my javelin. Ooh, good stuff. Oh, an ornate chest. Ow. Now, and second monolith has been located at long last with 10 minutes remaining, so we are doing good on time. And I see only chests be gone from my loot. Yeah, magnet makes it a lot easier because my stuff is being picked up immediately whenever I drop a shulker box or something like that. Get down from there. Fighting with the javelin is actually such fun. Ooh, regret all. Ooh, another one. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. Nice. Oh, hello. Can't say no to going down here. Oh. Found it. Finally, a challenge. I love that. And we got some of this stuff here. Any ores, potentially? Does this thing have some touch? Perfect. Ooh, what's that one? Ah, oh, it's Ashium. 
That is perfect. All right, well, six minutes to go. I can start heading my way back. And as I'm here with five minutes remaining, I think I can use a couple of minutes to check the nearby rooms. Ooh, what's this? Isn't this the factory room? I don't know if this is safe. I remember it being quite dangerous, but... Ooh. Maybe a look in here is not going to be a bad idea. I'm looking for compressed blocks. I don't know if these can actually still be found within the vaults, but I suppose having a look doesn't hurt. Oh, oh, hello. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Okay, for those to spawn, there must be something really valuable in there, or not. Oh, there's one compressed stone and one compressed sand. I will take it though, because it can save time doing resource gathering. Okay, not bad, but no treasure as such, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? I will count this as treasure. This is actually pretty good when you think about it, because uh, it saves a lot of time gathering resources. I think I shall take the time to actually loot all of these. Hmm. Well, I think with that, I'm happy to head home. But now I am curious what will be on the other side. But no, less than two minutes remaining. Not gonna risk it. We have some pretty good loot here. I think we should just head back home. All right, 58 mobs killed and where's the chest? What's the, what's the chest info? There we go. 47 chest looted. Oh, there we go. Chest looted. There we go. Right. 7,516 experience. <laughs> oh, the zombie's still here. <laughs> okay. Right. Well then, let us go through the loot. I mean, overall, having these ores here is pretty amazing. We got a mystery box with diamonds. Great. All right. As long as the creeper doesn't sneak up on me, I will be happy. So this is from the stuff that we did in the last episode. I'm just going to add to it. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of good stuff like the wild focus and well, basically everything. But I'm going to sort through this and then I will be right back with you. Uh, hello, please go away. No booster pack or no relic, unfortunately. Uh oh. Yeah. Right, so this is our loot so far. I mean, 50 di vault diamonds, 52 dollar chests, and then here we also have some. I mean, I, I probably should try and combine everything together, but I will be needing more than one chest, so it's a bit of a pain. But I'll do that eventually, like separate the ores and the jewels, then probably everything will be sorted. However, we still don't have enough knowledge chests to make our first knowledge star, so that will have to wait, but we do have this. Okay. Let's take a closer look here. So we got a bunch of jewels. Uh, Soulbound, Trap Disarm Chance is pretty good. Gilded Affinity is amazing. However, it is a little bit big for my liking. But let's just put all the jewels away here. We got Unidentified Vault Boots, Helmet and Axe. We got this, some more Vault uh, Diamonds, some Silver. We actually have quite a few coins now. We should make a coin pile dedicated for coins. Orb of Regret. That's good. Right. No relic. Well, let's identify these. Oh, what? That's a rare. I think that's a rare. Why can't I? Oh, right. I, I tried making a crystal while I was waiting. Bad idea. Okay, we got an epic axe here. 10 attack damage, 0.69 attack range, 1.1 attack speed, 1,802 durability. But look at this stuff. Plus 16% soul chance, plus 7% undead damage, stun attack chance, attack speed. Wow, okay, let's compare with the sword. A little bit slower, but the damage is higher, and it has a lot of stuff. That That's a really good axe, actually. Right, let's take a look at the boots and compare. I think you could actually hold down shift now, yeah. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, five armor, 760 durability, plus 18 mana, plus two health. Wow, okay, these are definitely, definitely better than my current boots. That is going to be a swap happening immediately. Uh, I just need to get them enchanted, but I don't have that many emeralds. I need emeralds. That's something I really need. I need emeralds. Now the helmet uh, is basically the same. Ours is actually a little bit better, so yeah, I'll just put that there. This axe though, 
That's good. Hmm. I feel like before I continue, well, we can actually go ahead and complete this and we'll get some coins, which I think if I go ahead and take all these coins, all of these, that also grab all the jewels, right? Like I can't actually carry all of it. So I'm gonna, hmm, what am I gonna do? I hope this is a recipe. Yes, and this chest is going to be for all the jewels and all the coins and all doors as well. <laughs> so I think if I take all of this, maybe I can fit it all in here. Yes, just barely. Wow. Okay, not too bad. We have the stuff down here. Then we have like vault, extra vault stuff over here. All right, good. I need emeralds. And in order to get emeralds, I probably need to start doing some trades with some villagers. I need to set up something uh, for these guys. I need to get a villager that I can do some easy trades with. Uh, don't know what that would be though. I mean, I'm getting a lot of sticks. So actually getting a Fletcher is probably going to be the ideal thing. So I need to make a fletching table. So for that, I will needing a shovel yeah because see i have a lot of sticks and i'm getting a lot of sticks per uh vault run so i need to find to find some gravel which is going to be in up here i really want wings all right i need someone who does not have a job like you there we go. Now I just need a fletching table oh ruined portal out there i don't know why i got so excited it, it it won't have anything that I actually can use. Oh no. Going back to the snow and ice. <laughs> there we go. That's two and three flints. I, I just said flints. It, it's flint. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Oh, I've actually been down there. Ha. All right, fletching table has been acquired. And next I need to build a little bit of a shelter for this guy, I suppose. Hmm, suppose if we have animals here, villagers can stay here. That makes sense, right? And you took the job. Great. So I'm just going to grab all of these sticks, clear out the inventory, and get a bunch of emeralds. And I might need to get more of your kind. And you will restock. Not interested yet. All right, that's fine. I got 16 emeralds from that. That's good enough for me because that means I can get uh, unbreaking three on this thing and I can get unbreaking three on two more items. Unbreaking three. Unbreaking three. I'm not going to be underwater, so that's fine. I want a bunch of, enchant of these enchantments as well. So, uh, hmm. I suppose sticks is the easiest way for me to get emeralds. However, the cartographer wants glass panes for emeralds that I can get normal glass from this guy. So if I buy a stack, so that's four times what? Four, uh, let's do math. I believe I would need 16 emeralds to get a stack of glass and then 64 divided by 16. I think this would actually work out. So I need two more villagers and I need lecterns and a cartography table. If I'm not mistaken. Right. I did some more math and uh, my plan is not going to work. My plan is not going to work. It's going to equal out the, the amount of stuff that I need. So yeah, it, it's just not going to work. What does work is that I have an unspent skill point and I really want to use it. Question is for what? Strength would be nice. Could get haste, actually could also get speed. That is four points though. Could also go down here in javelin enhancements. Enhance the Damage. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with damage. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna do that. Right, let us take a look at bounties and rewards. I'll get back to enchanting my boots later. Bounties and rewards. Completing bounties is a great way to secure yourself some extra loot and give yourself a solid goal to work towards. You will first need to craft yourself a bounty table and then interact with it by right-clicking it. Here you can select the bounty by clicking on one of the available bounties and clicking activate. Once you complete a bounty, then you can go back to the table and collect your rewards. Complete a bounty. So for that, we're going to be needing a bounty table, which is made with this. A loom, two vault essence, and five chromatic vault ingots, which I should have. Five and vault essence should have plenty up there. The loom is just two planks and two pieces of string. There we go. And then bounty table. Perfect. So this is going to complete once we actually complete the bounty. So let's place this down like right. Let's do it next to the port. Okay, hello. Right. 
I didn't think this through, did I? Okay, both the villagers are still safe. Oh boy. Let me just f fix that real quick. Right, I'm gonna place this here, I think. For now, anyway. Uh, I don't know if I'm safe. Let's just let's just take a look at this. So, we have three availables. Item submission. Uh, submit 232 polished vault stone at the bounty table. That's 22 vault silver. However, the polished vault stone is this stuff, and in order to get it, I need to be smelting a bunch. I would need to smelt uh, 232. I think I would need to smelt this, which I mean is doable, and it is a lot of coins and a lot of XP as well. Let's take a look. Item discoverability. Uh, discovery. Find 10. I can't speak. Find 10 vault essence in the vault. That gives 9 chromatic steel iron. That's not bad. And this, find... Okay, I'm gonna activate this, because I really want the emeralds. <laughs> and uh, all, all of these are good, honestly. All of these are good. Uh, but we've activated one, so that means we need to go to another vault. And that means I need to grab this. Then need to grab this and this. And ka -ching, get rid of those. Get this in. Uh, yep, all of that is doable, I believe. Except for the seeds. I only have one. And there we go. Ten seeds has been acquired. And ka -ching. Nice. And with that, we go to another vault. Don't need to shovel. I think I got everything. Let's go. Hmm. Not, not a great marking stone. Ooh. Right off the bat, we got one of these. Uh. Oh. Well, that, that was that. Oh, wait, main miner. I need another kill. I think this will be worth it. Come on, spot. Nothing's gonna spawn here? Are you kidding me? Oh, we got a monolith, I suppose. A bunch of Laramar. Not bad. All right, one of you fellas, come with me. Which one? Of, whichever one of you is the fastest, get to go into that, whatever it is. Congratulations, you are the winner. And again, I got this thing, which I don't know what it's for. Someone please let me know down below in the comments. Ow, I landed on that and got that much damage? Wow, gotta be careful about that. Okay, I noticed my mana is actually quite low right now, which is something that I gotta keep an eye on. Because when I start using the javelin as, that much, it uses the mana. So maybe I should put points into so it doesn't use the mana all the time. Or has a chance of not using mana, I should say. Okay. I'm sure I pressed shift then, but apparently I didn't. Alright, I'm gonna use this vial now. There we go, so... It has a couple of uses and then it's going to recharge. Okay, that's good. That was, uh... That was, uh... Dangerous. That was, uh... Very... Right. Nice. And bounty complete. Please go away. Maybe for the remainder of this vault, I should just try and focus on not looting these double chests, but just getting either a really good room or gilded ornate slash living chests. I'm willing to do that, I think. But then again, I am getting sticks, which I currently do need for emeralds and stuff like that. And I am getting stuff. I mean, I suppose if I'm here, I might as well grab what I can that is valuable. But I might start selecting the stuff that I know that I want. Well, this guy's stuck. Unfortunate. I will pick that and bring it with me. Why? Because I can. Can't forget about this. Ooh! Yes! Bomb Ignite! Yet another awesome discovery. And another one of these. Okay, 12 minutes remaining. That means I might as well go on a little bit of a detour. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, 
Perfect. Nice. And then I see Gilded. Oh boy. Desert room. And that's a dungeon of some sort. Somewhere. Right, okay. I know for a fact that this is the way out, but I almost have to see what on earth we have in here. Or underneath us. Is it underneath? Oh, it's inside. Well, there's a lot of TNT. I don't know if this will be worth it, to be honest. Oh, okay, hello. I think I'm just gonna go and think I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, right. That'll be my portal room. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I will have already been here. In fact, I recognize that, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So I just want to peek what this room is. Boring. Big open room, this one. Ooh, there's some living. Don't think I could say no to that. Alright, good. Time to head home. I see the portal. And with that, even though we are two minutes remaining, I'll say that was a pretty good run. Alright, 80 chests looted this time. Not too bad. 8,748 XP plus and bottle with great. And it is daytime. Love it. That means hopefully next night we should be getting phantoms, which I am very excited about. We are also now level 7. Also, I cannot resist. Please. Nope. Ooh. Quite a few animals there. Right, just like before, I'm gonna go through all of this stuff and I'll be back. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We had 40 knowledge essence in this one shulker box I just realized. At least I'm pretty sure that, wow. And 29 vault diamonds, 10 bounty pearls, which I will actually grab and move to the bounty table itself. Because it can actually hold them. I will... Actually, I will claim the reward now. Because that's a thing. Uh, item submission. Don't know if I want to grab that or not yet. But hold on. Just a second. Yep. We actually have enough. <laughs> we, we actually have enough. Hold on. So, if I want to make this, I need eight of them. So, I need a knowledge core. So, that means I need an extra one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Benyotide. Benyotide is going to be the thing that I'm lacking. Uh, I have one Benyotide ore and one Benyotide gem. <laughs> what? Okay, it's going to be a while before we get the knowledge stuff. We have enough uh, knowledge assets now, but um, not enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get the bounty out of the way first of all. We got a bunch of emeralds, that's good. And we also got chromatic steel ingot and vault diamond, so we're now at 32. We got a mystery box with even more emeralds. We're now at 37, actually, so that means I can now take this so I can say feather falling, that's important, and unbreaking three. And I think that's pretty much it that I all I want to add are these boots. I'll save these for now in case I want a fortune pickaxe or something, which I most definitely will. Let's take a look at this stuff. Bunch of gems, coins, a chest plate. Right. Coin affinity. Yes, we're getting a bunch of these. I'm excited for when we actually need to start using these jewels. Oh, rare plus leggings. Oh, wow. We got a lot of armor on this one. Uh, right. Let me take all of these. Let me turn that into... There we go. Vault silver. That's just going to save a lot more space. We have a lot of coins, actually. We really do have a lot of coins. That's great. Right. Let's put this away. Oh, we got a relic fragment. We got a relic fragment. Let's see what we get. Nice. I mean, there's a spider relic and it, it's going to take a while, but still, that is pretty neat. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we got a bunch of stuff. Let's take a look. So, boots, not better than what I currently have, so that's a scrap. The chest plate, however, is, let's take a look, better in armor, not as good in mana. So, that could be a... I suppose that could be a spare. Let's take a look at leggings then. Five armor, a little bit less durability, plus two health, but plus 13 mana. I do use mana quite a bit at these leggings though. Let's see. That's better mana. That's increased damage. So about and item rarity. Not as much armor, but I'm willing to trade that for extra damage, I think. Mm, I'll keep it down here together with the cool stuff. 
Wow. It's loud. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take this as well for charging no, taking no mana because that's good. So while we're just waiting out the storm, let's take a look at this. So we completed this. Let's complete that. And now we're getting into the tools, which is a whole other chapter in and of itself. So I think I'm going to save the tools for the next episode. I need to think about a couple of things as well, like how I'm going to do these. How I'm going to do these villagers, keep them safe and whatnot. I think I need to start setting up a couple of farms for like weed and carrots and uh, sugarcane and things like that. So yeah, I need to do some more planning and like I said, in the next episode we're going to get started with tools and the gems, which I'm really, really excited for. However, before we call it quits here, I do want to take a look at the next recipe. It's just a thing I like to do. Yep. What was that? Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Hold on, maybe... Okay, that's one. I need... I need two. Please, there's another one going to spawn. Okay, hold on, we're not gonna end just yet, because if I can actually get everything that I need in order to make a an elytra, then that is going to be pretty cool. I have everything else. I just need the phantom membrane. We're not ending this episode until I have an elytra. It's, it's that simple. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. Yes, 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 yes. Three of them. I don't have looting on the sword, so I'm pretty happy that there are three. And I have two. I have two phantom membrane now. And... Haha, <laughs> take that. Alright, this didn't give anything. Final one. Oh, oh, come on. Well, then maybe I could use the... Nope, even the creeper moved. Come on. Alright. Happy that it was three, because, uh, yeah, like I said, don't have looting. So I'm gonna go down here now. Uh, creeper's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, come on. Okay, sleep before that other creeper comes along. Actually, I'm too scared. <laughs> there we go. Sleep. Now, finally I can sleep. Okay, and just like that... Ladies and gentlemen, I have myself an elytra. Look at this. So much better. Now I can much easier move around the world, do what I need to do, like villages and whatnot. Yeah. I don't know what happened with my voice, but you get the point. So guys, I'm going to call this an episode here. I think we did some pretty, pretty good progress. We have a lot of stuff now. We're ready to head into tools with all these jewels. We actually have a full uh, normal sized chest with jewels. That is pretty cool. We're going to be going into tools in the next episode. In between, I'm going to be doing some planning, maybe some off-camera work as well. Maybe I'll decide to stream it, so be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. And follow me on Twitch as well, as I do occasionally stream over there. And in general, join my Discord server, link down below in the description, so that you don't miss when I upload or go live. But with that, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.